Hi, I'm Dr. Peter Larkins. Australia has a fantastic tradition in sport, but unfortunately sports injuries are part of the scene. The ankle is the most common weight-bearing joint that's injured in sport. Usually it's the lateral side ligaments, but it can be medial or a combination of both. There are studies that show that taping the ankle can actually prevent injuries, but it's also important with rehabilitation and returning to play. Osteopath Paul Herman will demonstrate an ankle taping technique that will show you how to get control, stability and return to sport as soon as possible. Before any taping procedure, it's important to prepare the skin 48 hours prior with a wet shave or on the day with a dry shave to remove any hair from the area being taped. If you have sensitive skin, you can use Elastoplast Sport Elastorap underneath the taping procedure to prevent the likelihood of skin irritations. Today we're doing a lateral ankle taping procedure to support the lateral aspect or the outside of the ankle. We use this following an ankle sprain or injury throughout recovery and rehabilitation and also to prevent the likelihood of further injury. We start by asking the patient or athlete to pull their toes towards their knees to maximise the diameter through muscle contraction to prevent tape cuts down the track. We're using Elastoplast Rigid 38mm today to support the ankle. First we put on an ankle anchor, just superior or above the ankle. We then perform three stirrups or U procedures from the inside or medial aspect of the ankle, pulling up to support the lateral ankle, making sure the tape is adhered to the skin on every application. We cover the previous tape by 25% to ensure adequate support. Following the application of our stirrups or U-tapes, we do a figure six. We start again on the medial side of the ankle or calf, go underneath the foot, come up and across the front or anterior aspect of the ankle, finishing on the inside or medial aspect of the calf ankle. We can then repeat that on the lateral or outside of the ankle to add further support. Come underneath the foot and again come across the front of the ankle back to where we started. Making sure we pad down on each application. In mild to moderate sprains we can perform a heel lock as well. In the heel lock we start on the medial or inside of the calf ankle. We come across the ankle underneath following the tape line to wrap around the heel coming back across over the front of the ankle again to the inside of the calf. We can repeat this procedure on the other side to add more support. Again, coming underneath, following the tape line, across the heel and back over to the outside or lateral aspect of the ankle and calf. We finish off the procedure by repeating an anchor just above the superior to the ankle. In a more acute situation, we can also use Elastopast Adhesive Bandage 50ml to aid compression to the area and assist with reduction of swelling and inflammation. We make sure we start superiorly or above the ankle, covering all the rigid tape flowing in a figure eight direction. Finishing at the inside of the ankle.
These demonstrations have shown how the Elastoplast resilient range of taping products allows a return to activity after injury to a range of joints in the body. For more information, contact Elastoplast or visit Elastoplast online at elastoplast.com.au.